Here we are down at the dock lands and we're about to jump on the good ship Enterprise. We're going to meet Captain Dominic Middleton and the crew. Let's go and have a look at the boat. Welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. Okay, yeah. we're on the Enterprise with the Enterprise's unofficial historian, Ed Weiner. So, Ed Weiner, tell us a little bit about the Enterprise. Well, the Enterprise is uh, today, that we're sailing on, is a replica of the original schooner, built, which was built in 1830 and bought in 1835 by John Pascoe Faulkner, who was a, uh, an entrepreneur. He was a guy who wanted to, you know, make money, get some more land, and he got together the ship and she sailed across Bass Strait and arrived in Melbourne on August the 30th, 1835. This boat is a replica of the 1830s vessel. It, was it constructed in the same way as ships of old? Yes, it was, absolutely. We went into every detail possible to make it authentic. Uh, and therefore, a lot of research was done uh, prior to the building of the ship. Using the same techniques, where was all the wood sourced from? Uh, it's mainly recycled timber um, and all put together um, no, obviously we don't know if it was exactly right, but yeah. we think it's as near as damn it to the original. Yeah. All of these ropes here, they're certainly not synthetic. Tell us a little bit no, about them. No, they're made of hemp imported from Holland. They're coated with Stockholm tar, which preserves them. So yep. um, when you use them, you get kind of sticky hands. So that's why it's all all sticky and a bit of grip. Uh, yeah, but also it's very good for your hands because it keeps them nice and soft. Oh, really? Nice fact, yeah. Oh, there I'll you tell go. you what, brand new skin care. Yeah, from that's tar. right. You never would have thought that. Enterprise skin cream. Enterprise yes. skin cream. Cream. Yep. Enterprising, yep. to say yep. the least. Yep. What does the Enterprise do now? Now, well, as Melbourne and Victoria's history ship, she's involved in a tremendous number of projects, and you might say she's there for the public, so we take people out for one hour sales, um, overnight adventure sales, um, corporate, we do corporate business. If you wanted to celebrate a birthday, you could say charter the ship and we'd do it for you. Uh, Magnificent. Yep. yep. Uh, all, sort, all manner of things. And also, we're very heavily into schools. So that's a main driving force behind our, um, our ship. We like to get as many children as possible on board. We teach them the history of the ship and of Melbourne. We get them with hands-on experience of sailing. And fantastic. It gives them a little bit more confidence in that as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've never been on anything like this ever, you can imagine. Oh, for sure. Yeah, they just love now, it. Now, just if, if the school kids are on deck and they're mucking around yeah. a little bit, do you sort of like make them walk the plank? Oh yeah, well that depends on the captain, you know, There's some skippers are worse than others, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <Yeah. laughs> All right, how is the Enterprise connected to the Pollywood side? It is not. So Edwina, tell us where the, where the crew comes from, <laughs> how do you source them? The crew, well, uh, we have, sometimes we put advertisements out, sometimes it's word of mouth. Um, sometimes people just come on board and they say, wow, this is the best experience and I want to be a volunteer, and they will, which is what I did, and they will come on board. How many yes. years ago was that? It was about two and a half years ago. Oh, yes. and it is fantastic too. It's an it? amazing like, ship, What a beautiful yeah. day yeah. we've had. You couldn't yeah. ask for better. Yeah, I mean, all these and volunteers come from so many different backgrounds. They're all committed to the ship. They love her to bits. Yeah. And they'll work like crazy on her. And we have a fantastic time. I mean, we work hard. We have a fantastic time. A good yeah. bunch of people, I've noticed. They are fantastic, <laughs> yeah. And what we want to do is share that with the, peop with the people of Melbourne and Victoria. And we want to say, this is your ship and come and enjoy come it. Come and enjoy it. Yeah, and learn about the history of Melbourne as you're doing it. That's the thing. Yeah. And so if you want to learn a bit more about the enterprise, jump on onthewater.com.au and check out the links to the enterprise if you want to become a volunteer or even just go out for a sail. As Edwina said, it is open to Melbourne. It is Melbourne ship. Thanks, Thank Edwina, okay. very much Thank for your you. time. I okay. appreciate it. That's fine. Okay. It's been a magnificent afternoon on the bay. We've had a lovely, refreshing swim after lunch. We're on the ship Enterprise. It was launched in 1997. It's a replica of an 1830s trading schooner. She's a topsail schooner. And with me is Captain Dom. Captain Dom, how did you manage to become the master of the good ship Enterprise? Forgery. <laughs> Mag magnificent. Right, so tell us, what, we're, what are we doing today, mate? We are actually uh, going out to greet the James Craig, uh, a bark that has not visited Melbourne for over 120 years, and to escort her into the city of Melbourne and welcome her. I'd like to thank you, Captain Dom. I'll leave you to view your very important duties. We're going to fire off the cannon soon, I believe. What yes, does that are. mean? Are we broadsiding the James Craig or are we just sort of firing a salute? 
We are firing a salute, a welcoming shot to the ship. Okay, a welcoming shot right across the bows, and are we sort of going to board in a bit of a pirate fashion, or is it all a bit friendly? Look, I'm uh, happy to go either way here. <laughs> Magnificent. Yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to Thank it. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you, Tim. <laughs>